today we're working on a pop that I really didn't know what to really do with, and as you're seeing on the screen right now, there was a there was quite a few failures going from just putting red on the pop directly and just putting an effect on it because technically that would be a red chrome Mickey, but that wasn't of course what I was trying to make. I was trying to make Batman. So what I did was just, all I did was mostly just copy the body over it to it, and originally I thought I was going to just put the head on top and that was going to be that, maybe add my hat on top of it, but that isn't what you guys like to see. So what we're going to do here is add these red eyes on it and basically make it look like that Scott Pilgrim pop, you know the one I'm talking about, yeah, put a picture of it on the screen, there it is. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to shade the eyes just into our liking, so get them the right size, put them back on the other side, and honestly I think the eyes look really really good on this pop again. If I were to do this, like if I were to get opinions from you guys, how would you would have, how would you have done uh, this pop right here? Because I want to, I want to hear, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know really about what you guys think about the joy of customizing, and I really want to know, of course, like what you would have done here. Because I'm always willing for to get some suggestions. Because um, the way current videos go is I do uh, Joy of Customizing right after I get done with the unboxing video. So there's like a big stockpile of videos that are being made all at one time. So what we're doing now is we're trying to find the perfect red of this Batman. And with the colors being so different, so of course when I uh, took the Batman part of it and then transferred it over to the pop itself, uh, the bat didn't look right and it looked... Um, look kind of distorted like there was uh, there was purples there was greens there was oranges in the red so we wanted to make it one color so it would just stand out and be the red color that it is right now but speaking about the red chrome Batman how did you guys do with the 12 days of Funko um, did you get anything good did you get the Pillsbury Doughboy because I know that was a really sought after pop I really want to know if you guys got the Doughboy which there will be of joy of customizing for that as well we're looking forward to making the Doughboy. I still have an idea, roughly, of what it's going to be, but we'll see. We'll see very, very shortly. So what we're going to do now is try to make the mask of said Batman. So we're going to pull this down a little bit, and I believe we do the same effect here, trying to get them to all blend in right. So what we're going to do now is find the perfect red, put it back on the pop, and now we're going to be um, changing the hair color. We're going to be changing the hair color to its very prominent red. Alright, so, please, please, can you, can you show me the hair, can you show me the hair right now? You're not going to do that for me? You're making me look bad? You're making me look bad in front of my fans? In front of my family? You bring dishonor! Alright, that's it! Dishonor! Dishonor on your whole family! Make a note of this! Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! Alright, so now we're going to finish the nose because, again, the Batman nose has got a very, got a very prominent, very prominent nose, very prominent schnoz. So we're going to add a little bit of a, a little white line just to give it a little bit more depth, a little more depth, perception. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the army man because I realized they weren't on the right layer. So now that they're on a separate layer, I can mess with the hair as much as I want. So we're going to get the red at its perfect perfect peak performance by the way I'm also thinking about changing um, my pop because um, the hair I do like on the pop but I want to try to maybe change it to maybe a Newt Scamander's head it's Newt Scamander's uh, hairstyle I'll post a picture of course what uh, Newt's hair looks like his uh, pop form right here and let me know guys would you guys want to uh, want me to change the current pop or do you like the way it is currently I have a poll of course on my Twitter uh, as well uh, it'll be finished by the time this video goes live but I'll put the results on the screen if we're gonna do that or not and well we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it for uh, for a little bit because I haven't really decided yet I may do it or I may not do it if I do there will be a joy customizing for it and well Hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you do like the uh, the new change of the pop character, and I believe... No, 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 we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I forgot the little, little bat ears. And I, just, I struggle a little bit on this because I forgot which layer the ears were on, but it was quickly fixed. It was very, very quickly fixed, but I didn't like how the ears looked. So, of course, if you don't like, if you don't like it, fix it. Simple as that. 
So we're gonna shade them out a little bit, and I believe we also put a little bit of a, uh, a black line in between it, just so we can blend the hat with the um, with the ear itself, like it was like, kind of meant for us, like it was sort of it was meant to be there. If you know what, if you know what I'm talking about. Yep, up, yep. Here it is. Here it is, right here, where we get it all to line up. And all we do now is just copy and paste. And everybody, that is the Red Chrome Batman. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.